Hi there. Right, this is going to be instructions on how to set up Extreme UI and Admin Panel as like a, a startup. Now, what first of all you're going to need is obviously a server. To get access to your server, you need a program called Putty. Right, I'll write up this on here now, but I'll, I'll, everything that I'm going to put on here on the screen is going to be in the description below. So you need a program called Putty, and to go to get Putty, you want to go here. Which will bring you to their website. Now, download Putty, and once Putty is installed, Yeah. Once put is installed, your IP address needs to go in here. You'll have got this when you want when you've done your server. Keep it as SHH, and then when you click open, it will come up with a black screen. Very similar to this prompt here. In here, you want to type root, but not in capitals. It has to be lowercase. Click root. And click OK. It won't come up with this. It will be accessing your server. If you if you've got to here and you've got to root, you have that. Then you want to put in your password that they've given you. Once you've managed to get into there, then what you want to do is you really want to be running this on the Ubuntu 18. Nothing else less than that. Every time you do anything on your update. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to work with different screens here and it's confusing. Anytime that you want to do an update, always run um, this file first. So here, yeah. So two, once you're in there, You want to run that file command there, not the number two, but from sudo across. That will update. And then, second of all, third of all after that, you want to run this command. After you've done that, install extreme which is this command and then once you've got to that then you want to run it once you install this it will come up what you want to install. Just click yes and go through everything that it asks you to go through. And then it will ask you for your password again, which you'll have to put in your main password. Once all that is set, then the last command that you need to run is this one. Is that come on there once you've done all that it will have told you when you've installed it where your domain name your, your ip is it's basically your ip address of your server and i think it's 2525 or something like that at the end but it 
whatever it tells you at the end of that, if I was you, I would use um, sniping tool and take a screenshot of it. Any problems, give me a comment below, but all this I'll now post in the description below. I hope this helps anyone. Thank you.